So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I have been busy, and I'll explain that a little bit in a minute. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to run over the M140i running costs and whether or not this car breaks the bank. So let's jump in the car, go for a spin, and uh, I'll see you in a sec. So I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in like a month. I've been super busy. Obviously we've had Christmas, New Year, and I've been doing other sorts of various things. So hopefully you guys did have a good Christmas. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite present was. Uh, I'd love to hear what you know what you guys got up to. I spent most of the time ill, which wasn't too great. Uh, I hit a pothole, which dented my wheel. Hopefully you would have seen the short I made of me putting the tire on a new wheel. But yeah, that happened, which wasn't too great. But luckily alloys.co.uk sent me out a new wheel. So that was brilliant. We got all that sorted. That was all good. I then had my number plate stolen so someone obviously wanted some free merch or something but anyway i've got a new uh plate and uh, magnets coming tomorrow so that's all good that's all sorted and i also went to auto sport international which you don't know what that is it's basically a massive car event with like motorsport engineering side of motorsport there's all, like show cars and it was a really really good day hopefully you would have seen my short on that as well Right, so first up is fuel. Now I've just hit the fuel light. I've now got 18 miles of range, so this is a good test to see how much it costs me for a full tank. So it's currently 154 pound 9p for a litre. 154 pound a litre? Jeez. What I meant was 1 pound 54.9 a litre. Let's see how much it costs to fill this up. So that costs 71 pound and 47p. So the price of that fuel times by four is 285 pound and 88p. And that is what I pay a month because I tend to use about a tank a week. And I forgot to mention, I tend to average between 22 and 24 miles to the gallon, which for stage two plus car, daily driving, it's not really that bad. And on long trips, I can get 36, 37, not bad. Right, so let's talk insurance. Now, I think this is quite a hot topic with these cars, and I'm seeing a lot of people on Facebook sell their cars, their, you know, M140Is, M240Is, or M cars, because of insurance. Now, I'm pretty lucky being here in Cornwall to have the insurance a little bit lower than what seems to be the rest of the UK, and I've actually just had an insurance renewal on this car, so it's a perfect time to explain exactly how much I'm about to pay for another year. Now, you've got to bear in mind, this isn't standard. I've done a lot of body kit on this. I've done new wheels. I've done suspension with the springs I've done a new front end with the M2 competition style front end I've also got the B58 TU pl uh, pump in there intake pipes air filters and a lot of other bits I mean look how good that thing looks underneath there so with insurance there's a lot of variables where you live what you do for a living how many miles you can do a year what mods you've got in your car anything but if you want to go ahead and look at a video of a few insurance tips I'll leave a link in the description to my old video which I made on my original M140 explaining how I managed to insure that at the age of 19. There's a few tips in there that are really handy and I still use today. God, it's so windy out today. So you're probably wondering how much I've paid for this car for the new year and that is a price of £1,555 and I've paid that yearly. Now if you do pay it monthly, if you split that up into 12 it costs about £130 but you're going to be paying a little bit more because of interest. But I think at 21, basically £1,500 for this, with everything declared, I think that's pretty good. So next up is tax. Now this does depend on a few things, but for this car, it costs £210 a year, which is a little bit on the steeper side considering I used to pay about 150 on my previous one. So I'm not sure what the difference is now, or whether or not it's just gone up in general for all vehicles, but yeah. I'm now paying an extra £60 a year for this car compared to my old one. Bit weird, but yeah. Now, one thing to remember, if you do go above the, I think it's £40,000 price bracket, just like my mate's M240i, you have to pay a lot more again. So bear that in mind. So if you split it up monthly, that is £17.50p. And I think you probably, if you did it monthly, you would have to pay a little bit of interest on that. But yeah, I pay technically £17.50 a month for tax, but I've paid it yearly just so it's done. So this one I wasn't really going to include, but technically it still does add up to the price of maintaining this car a year, and that is MOT. And this costs about £50. It could cost more though if you fail, but yeah, £50 a, <laughs> £50 a year. So if we're going to be talking about this monthly, £50 a year, monthly costs about 
four pound 20 p something like that so tires are one of those things that it depends how you drive and what your driving style is you could make a set last a couple of years or like me you could make a set last about six months so let's just say we go for a set a year so I've loaded up the uh, Black Circles website, which is normally where I sort of go and have a look at tires to see what the current prices are. And let's price up a set of wheels, a set of tires for a rear, uh, a rear set and a front set and see how much that comes to. So there we have it. I've priced up a set of rear tires and a set of front tires. So the front tires are going to cost £352.68p and the rear tires costing £481.6p. And that all fully fitted is going to cost £833.74p. So, yeah, quite expensive really, I think. But, you've probably noticed, I'm not running Michelins on this car. These are actually Nexon the Fera SU1 tyres. And I'll leave all the links in the description down below if you want to go ahead and check these out. Highly recommend. And uh, this is my second set now. And they're doing pretty good. I do really like them. So, check them out in the link in the description. Right, so now on to brakes. I'm going to include this because I still think it's part of running an M140i. Now, this is very dependent on how you drive. You know, some people might go for a set of brakes in six months. Some people might go to a set of brakes in 12 months, two years, three years, whatever. But we're just going to assume for this video, you're going to go for a set of brakes a year. I don't think that's realistic for the disc, but we'll just call it that just to get a brief idea. Um, so I've priced up on Williams Performance a set of front discs. Uh, rear discs, front pads, rear pads, and two sensors. So basically, a standard OEM replacement, um, and that has come to a subtotal of seven hundred and forty-seven pound and fifty-five p. But as I said, you might not use all of that in a year. But that gives you an idea of how much uh, a replacement set for brakes costs on an M140i. And finally, we're going to go over servicing. Now this is the price the price i'm going to give you in a minute is the price for a major service what i actually paid a few months back now once again there's a bit of a weird one like do i include this in the 12 months or not because like at one point you might just need an oil and filter change one point you might just need spark plugs and air filter but i'm just going to give you a price of how much i paid for everything to get done so that total price a new air filter, oil filter, the O-rings for that, new sump plug and the new washer for that, the oil, the B58TU plugs and a cabin filter, all fitted and on the iDrive, cost me £437.64p. But this is all depending on whether you, you know, you fit it yourself, what garage you go to, whether or not you buy the parts and get the garage to fit it. There's so many variables, but just gives you an idea of what I paid. <laughs> Right, so I've come home now, and I thought I'd run over the price of things and give you a better explanation about it all. So, I've divided it up into two groups. I've divided it up into tax, fuel, insurance, and MOT on one group, because that's something I pay for every single month without doubt. And then the second group is tyres, services, and brakes, because I don't necessarily do that every year, and that's completely dependent on how much I use it and everything like that, so it's hard to really tell. So, first up is tax. That's £210 a year, which works out to be about £17.50 a month without the interest. Obviously, you get the interest if you do it monthly. I don't, so it costs me £17.50 technically. Uh, fuel, I use about a tank a week. So, add that all together, and it's £285 and 88p. Insurance is £1,555 a year, which divides up to about £129.58p. Yet again, if you pay it monthly, you're going to get interest but i don't and then mot is about 50 pound a year which is around four pound 16 a month so that brings my total monthly bill to 437 pound and 12p and that is just to run the car and some people have to consider like finance on top of that as well and then the tires services and brakes which we'll go on to now so for tires it's 833 pound and 74p that's just for like the best tires you can get um of course you can look at deals and getting cheaper tires and stuff like that but i'm just saying for like the michelin pipe sport 4s which is kind of the leading tire at the minute that's how much you'll pay for serve for a full service i paid 437 pound and 64p and then for brakes for an OEM replacement, not an upgrade, an OEM replacement is £747.55p. But anyway, if you did go ahead and enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, ring, comment, and subscribe. And I shall catch you guys very, very soon in a brand new video. I've got a pretty exciting one coming very soon.